What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. This is Gold Pony Crypto. And so today's going to probably be a little bit shorter of a video, but I wanted to make it because I keep getting the same question over and over again, basically based off of my Ruby Steel card review and the Crypto.com card. And that question is, is it actually worth it, essentially, including this comment, actually, I'll put it on the screen. It actually said something like the Ruby Red card is definitely not worth staking. And so in this video, I'm going to not only lay out how inaccurate that statement is, but I'm also going to show you exactly how much crow I have earned from simply just using the Ruby Steel card. Because you guys know, I recently just updated to the Jade Green. Still haven't got that card yet. So the only card I have currently used Used is the Ruby Steel. I've currently had it for approximately 10 months. And if you guys have the Crypto.com exchange, you also know that Crypto.com sent everyone an email, I think like a week ago, giving them all their stats for the year, including how much crow they actually earned by using the card. And so I'm gonna give you guys that answer. So before I get there, I did wanna lay out just what the Ruby Steel card actually is for any beginners just watching this video right now. Essentially, these cards give you crypto back rewards in the form of crow. Once you actually download the Crypto.com exchange, you have the ability to go ahead and tap the card icon and then sign up for one of their Visa metal cards. The Midnight Blue is gonna be the plastic. Every other card is going to be a metal card, including the Ruby Steel card. And so for the Ruby Steel card in particular, you do have to stay $400, at least here in the US, it's going to differ based on which country you're currently located in. But that staking period is for a period of six months. After that period of six months is up, you have the option to either leave that staked where you get to continue to earn the 2% back in Crow rewards constantly. And you also get the Spotify reward as well. But if you unstake that and take that $400 out, that is cut back to 1% and you also lose the Spotify reward as well. So for only $400, and I do say only because I'm gonna show you guys Guys how much it's worth it here. It is definitely worth staking and keeping it in that staked position unless you want to upgrade, of course. And so what you actually get from signing up for the Ruby Steel card, like I said, you do get free Spotify reimbursement, meaning all you need to do is link up your Spotify account to the Ruby Steel card. And then whenever that gets taken out, it's going to automatically 100% reimburse you in the form of Crow. You also get when you sign up actually to backtrack a little bit, you get a free $25 when you sign up in Crow for one of the metal cards like the Ruby Steel. I'm going to put my referral code on the screen if you guys actually need it. So therefore then the card only costs you $375. So that brings it down a little bit there as well. And then there's also, of course, the potential for Crow to increase in value. I always tell the story when I staked for my Ruby Steel card, and I think it was February or so, maybe January, February, I don't remember, but Crow was at the price of five or six cents. And since then it has gone as high as 96 cents and it's currently sitting around 65 cents. So really that's what, 11 or 12 X my money right there, which is pretty impressive. And by the way, when it comes to that 2% back in rewards, you can use that for almost anything with the exception of maybe paying local, state, and federal governments. I personally use it for my phone bill, my cable bill, a lot of my bills, quite honestly, healthcare bills, COBRA payments, dental bills, all of that stuff. A lot of that stuff is pretty expensive, so it can add up quite quickly if you use this as your main card like I did. So like I said, this is going to be a short video, so now let me actually give you guys the answer you're probably watching this video for. How much I earned in basically 10 months now using the Ruby Steel card. So Again, keep in mind, I actually got it for $375 because I did use another YouTuber's referral code for $25, so it only cost me $375. What I earned in Crow, I'll put it on the screen, 1,952 Crow. So if you were to roughly round that 96 cents up to a dollar with the all-time high, that's roughly $1,952. Even if you take the current price of Crow, if I were to cash out right now at 65 cents, which is what Crow is currently at, that would give me $1,268.80, which again, still worth it. So ultimately, since these two numbers are both over the $375 that it took me to actually get this card, I would say it is 100% worth it, which is why so many people also ask the question, is it worth staking now at the end of the bull market? I would say, yeah, it's only $400. You're gonna easily get that back if you use the card. So heck yeah, it's worth staking because you're gonna get it back. And the quicker you do it, the quicker you're gonna start accumulating crow. Now with the higher dollar card amounts, maybe you wanna wait, it's up to you. Jade Green, I went ahead and went for it because that original $375 that I staked turned into over four grand. So I'm like, all right, might as well. It's not gonna cost me anything. So I went ahead and did it. Anyways, back to the point, heck yes, it's worth it. The Ruby Steel card has been absolutely perfect for me. If you have any additional questions, go ahead and put them in the comments section below. That is about it for this one, you guys. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen. If you like, go ahead and hit the subscribe and the bell notification button. If you're into crypto.com, Crow, and Kronos, 
DeFi video is coming up, by the way. I'm pretty excited about that. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold. Music